I'm very happy to be in Canada uh, and my presence here proves that Canada remains a country governed by laws, not by here today, gone tomorrow politicians and their whims and that justice counts in Canada and I'm very grateful to the Honourable Judge Mosley for demonstrating that. What message do you have for the Conservative government? Well, you know, it's a dangerous thing that Canada has become so isolated in the world that it has allowed itself to become basically an embassy for the most extreme Israeli political line. Mr. Netanyahu has almost no friends in the world, including in the White House, but he sure has friends here in Canada. And not many people can quite understand why. Um, there seems no reason why. Canada, which was so widely respected, even loved in the world, not so very long ago, it should so identify, over-identify itself by anybody's standards, even a conservative's standards, over-identify itself with really very extreme Israeli politicians. What message do you, or, or what message will you deliver to people tomorrow then about your experience with, with what happened to you? Uh, well, first I will talk about what happened uh, to me, not just because I want to get it off my chest, and, but I do. Uh, this has been an extremely searing, uh, indeed surreal uh, experience for me to, to be sitting for almost 25 years in the British Parliament whilst a Commonwealth G7 country is declaring you to be a security risk and a terrorist is, uh, is, is uh, searing. Uh, and it has affected my life in many ways, which I shall adumbrate at the meeting uh, tomorrow. But much, much more importantly is what it means for you. And what it means for you, as the Honourable Judge said in his 60-page judicial caning of uh, 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 Jason Kenney, is that uh, Canada's laws and anti-terrorism as a rubric is being used to suppress legitimate political debate here in the country. And that's important in itself, if you believe in democratic values, but it's also important, arguably more important, in that you will reach flawed conclusions as a country if you don't hear all the legitimate points of view argued out in public, in proper debate. And that's exactly what's happened. Canada has reached a deeply flawed set of foreign policy positions and partly because it has set out to criminalize views which are widely shared in the country and around the world and must be heard. I guess it's not going to shut you up then, is it? No, I mean, the good thing is uh, that the, as any bookseller could have told them for free, the book you try to ban always ends up on the bestseller <laughs> list. And I expect that the audience for what I have to say uh, tomorrow and indeed through the uh, conduit of the media uh, will be far, far larger than it ever would have been if Mr. Kenny hadn't uh, undertaken this foolish thing. But he's cost the Canadian taxpayer a pretty penny and I don't suppose pennies are that plentiful nowadays here or anywhere else. Uh, he's damaged uh, Canada's uh, reputation. As I said at the press conference the other day, I don't know if it's because he's a fool or a knave I'm not sure which would be worse, but I am sure that Canada deserves better than that. Are you going after them? Yes, I will have a meeting with my legal team, Barbara Jackman. I'm seeking uh, redress for the damage that has been uh, done. Um, and uh, so this is not the final uh, round between me and uh, Mr. Kenny. Well, I'll, I'll be talking to my legal team about just what avenues uh, exist, but Mr. Uh, indeed, one of them is behind me who may very well want to uh, want to have a say on that. Um, but one thing's for sure: uh, I have been defamed in a way which it's scarcely possible to exaggerate. I mean, for a high-profile politician to be 
announced to the world as a terrorist and a security threat placed my life in danger. I'm not being melodramatic. There are crazy people in the world who, if I really were the person Jason Kenney painted me as, might have thought themselves fully justified in uh, putting a bullet in me. Um, and so my life has been quite severely affected in many ways. As I say, I shall run through them uh, at the meeting tomorrow. Um, and I, I am seeking redress for that one way or the other, whether through defamation or through some other form uh, of uh, redress. So uh, although Mr. Kenny has already cost you all a pretty penny, it may very well turn out to be pretty more pennies too. Well, the officers were very courteous, uh, but uh, the interview ranged rather, rather farther than a normal uh, immigration uh, interview. Uh, would. Um, they were interested in my political analysis of many international political situations, which was flattering, but time consuming. Uh, and I was aware that uh, there were people outside waiting to uh, hear me. But uh, they were, uh, I, I couldn't fault them at all for courtesy and uh, manners and uh, good old uh, Canadian efficiency. So uh, no complaints. Mr. Galloway, are you yes. aware of the, uh, the work that Canadians have done to bring you back? Not only am I aware of it, I'm filled with gratitude and admiration for the legal team, for the political team, for all those who have struggled for 18 months to get me back into the country. And it's a great tribute to them that they were not intimidated. They were not terrorized into believing that uh, they were somehow uh, on the side of a, a terrorist or a security th threat. My broader feeling, though, is that this visit will be at least tacitly welcomed by far wider sectors of Canadian society than just people who support me. Because I think there is a feeling in Canada, I get the impression that there is a feeling in Canada, that there's something not quite right about continually banning and excluding people and thus attempting to push uh, views which are against the views of the government here into the margins to criminalize them, to marginalize them. I think most Canadians, whether they agree with my political views or not, just instinctively know that that is wrong and not a good thing, not a good place to be. So thank you to all the campaigners. Any more questions? <laughs> yeah, what, what do you think about uh, the Canadian media that was you know, delayed in, in responding to certain docu well, documents that were well, found? You know, I, I, uh, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry when I read on my Google alert all these headlines popping up from right-wing Canadian newspapers saying Galloway has lost in the court. I must be charitable, I suppose, and say they hadn't read the judgment. But if I've lost, how come I'm standing here? I'm standing here because I won. And I won. Yeah. I, I won. I'm, I'm, I'm standing here because I won. And I won because Canada still is a country governed by laws that has a judiciary that will not be bullied or cowed or terrorized into rubber stamping the decisions, the caprice, the whim of here today and gone tomorrow politicians. And I must tell you, you're very lucky to have that. Not many countries in the world have such a judiciary. We do and you do. And that's maybe one of the things that makes us close. <clears throat> Any others? Sorry, I'm... Galloway yes, in! Kenny out! Galloway 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 in! If there's time to do it, I'd love to...